When we think of strikers, we either picture the modern, pacey, agile forwards, masters at finding space to run into, or we think about the classic, tall, old-school number 9, towering over defenders and dominating the penalty box. Well, there's a new kid in town who checks both of these boxes. Samu Morodion is a rare profile, a forward who's just as fast as he's physically strong. Standing at 6 foot 4, taller than most goalkeepers in Europe, you'd expect him to be a classic poacher, a penalty box player waiting to pounce on crosses. But no, he averages 2.25 takeoffs per match, which is higher than the average forward in Europe's top 5 leagues. He's also one of the best strikers in Europe at carrying the ball into the final third, ranking in the 76th percentile with an average of 1.05 carries into the 18-yard box. And as for the most important stat for a striker, goal scoring. He started the season flying at FC Porto, getting 7 goals in 6 games, including scoring in his last 5 in a row. That run includes his standout performance against Manchester United in the Europa League, where he bagged a brace. Here's how he compares to other strikers in Europe this season. The similar striker list is taken from FB Ref, and the comparison data comes from Data MB. Shout out to them both. Omorodion first came to prominence during the 2022 season, playing for Granada's reserve side, scoring 18 goals that year and earning a promotion to the senior team the next season. In his La Liga debut, his only match for Granada, he came off the bench and scored their only goal in a 3-1 loss to Atletico Madrid. Less than a week after that, Atletico signed him for around 6 million euros, impressed by his performance against them. A week later, he was loaned out to Deportivo Alaves to continue his development. He finished last season with 9 goals in La Liga, 8 for Alaves and 1 for Granada. At the start of this season, Atletico were in the market for strikers. They just lost Alvaro Morata to Milan and splashed money on two star signings, Manchester City's Julian Alvarez and La Liga's top scorer last year, Alexander Sorloff. Surprisingly, Samu was sold to FC Porto for 15 million euros, with Atletico citing financial constraints as the reason. With two great seasons under his belt and a standout performance for Spain's Olympic team, winning a gold medal and scoring four goals for Spain's youth teams, he left La Liga, a move Atletico fans are still salty about. As of this video, the 20-year-old has already scored seven goals this season. Meanwhile, Sorlot, Julian Alvarez, Angel Correa, and Antoine Griezmann have scored 7 goals combined. Though he's yet to receive a call-up to the Spanish national team, it's just a matter of time. While he's also eligible to represent Nigeria, it's widely accepted that he'll play for Spain. And why not? Spain needs a player like him. On the flanks, you've got the pace of Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams. Add Saham's raw power and surprising speed, and Spain could become a formidable unit. He'd fit perfectly under Luis de la Fuente's Spain, a team that now uses fast, fluid counter-attacking plays instead of the tiki taka of old. Marta even claimed he was one of the fastest players in La Liga last season, clocking a top speed of 34.5 km per hour. Compared to Morata or Jose Lu, he's miles ahead. He has a strong aerial presence, is aggressive in duels, and can finish with both feet and his head. One area he struggles with is build-up play. His first touch can be loose and he tends to rely on service rather than creating chances himself. But with the national team where both Lamine and Nico excel at chance creation, Samu will have no problem converting opportunities into goals. He is a player with a privileged physique, said Alaves head coach Luis Garcia last season. And he's right, Samu relies on power and momentum in the final third and once he gets moving with the ball, he's difficult to stop without conceding a foul. In fact, he ranks in the 80th percentile for drawing penalties, which means only 20% of players in Europe draw more fouls in the box than him. He uses his size to hold up play effectively and involve others. While he might not be the best creator, his hold-up play allows his teammates to exploit the spaces that open up when defenders focus on him. With all of these qualities, despite being a bit raw, Spain will surely bank on Samu for their long-term ambitions. It's only a matter of time before he joins La Roja and leads their front line. If you want to know how Luis de la Fuente transformed the old way of playing football and revitalized the Spanish national team, then click this video right here and I will see you in the next one. Hasta luego.